Hi, good morning and welcome to the Bolshev Shift News. Guys, I've got some great news, but before we get into that, I just want to say a big thank you, uh, because sometimes I get accused of not thanking people. It seems like you know they don't realise that at the beginning of every video I do, I always thank people for the support that they've given um, you know, over the last seven years now. Uh, so, you know, a big thank you to them. Okay, so what's the big news then, guys? Okay, our magnetometer 5 has found a home and that will be on its way to Perth, West Australia and that will conclude our magnetometers for that continent. As you already know we've got uh, magnetometer 1 and 2 um, in Kentucky and South California. Uh, we just need to place now M3 and M4 what you can see on this map. But we've done really well guys to get to this stage. Can you believe we've put pins on a map and said we would like to get you know uh, subscribers to take a magnetometer on those those locations that we've got and we've been luckily enough to have the subscribers in these locations that are willing to take part in collecting the data for the benefit of all of us here and we're nearly at 22,000 subscribers guys it's absolutely amazing now a lot of you if you've been following for some time at least a couple of years will remember what we're looking at here and it seemed like these things was on my table for months and months and months if you remember it wasn't just uh, sourcing what I needed in the development of the Trimax system it was the actual programming and that was something I had to teach myself because if you remember we never had the money to approach you know an electronics company or someone with the ability to build these things for us and you know it would have cost probably thousands of pounds easily uh, but you know it was just through perseverance um, I remember now getting it wrong so many times the program it, it was frustrating and sometimes it would make me physically sick I couldn't you know face these things but you know just through perseverance I got there in the end I learned how to do the programming and now this system uh, Touchwood has been running pretty much uh, fault free apart from one track had to be replaced um, about six months ago but it's been running now for a good 18 or so months. And look where we are now with the um, other magnetometers. Three months ago, we decided um, on the uptick of the magnetic north pole migrating uh, and us, ourselves detecting those magnetic uh, spikes that we was getting in the data, we uh, concluded it'd be a great idea to place magnetometers actually in the locations of the digressing uh, high intensity regions over Canada right now and that's why we've got those magnetometers on those um, you know in that range um, you know we've uh, the one that we've sent to California the one that we've gone got now in Kentucky uh, you know to monitor those regions even closer you know three months ago we had the idea and today four of those magnetometers uh, at least from next week we'll be in their locations around this world you know can you believe where we've gone with this guys we've raised the money we've built the equipment and it's like I say on this channel you know we don't just talk about the magnetic pole and its migrations and some of the implications that it might have we built a Trimag system to detect the movement first of all from the UK of the magnetic north pole and track its location and we've taken upon ourselves to build a magnetosphere uh, sensor which collects the data on the magnetosphere strength and now we've built another uh, eight of these magnetometers um, to measure the moving and migrating intensity of the magnetic field you know we're a proactive channel guys and it has only been down to the fact that we've had support all the way through it uh, I just hope that it continues because you know our work isn't uh, by any means over here, and things are now starting to, you know, show signs of progression. You know, we are at at least in the next five to seven years going to see, I believe, a complete migration of the poles on this planet, and during that time, the magnetosphere is going to collapse, and you know we've got the equipment now, hopefully in place, uh, to monitor that. And give us all a heads up on when all this starts to happen. Uh, you know, it's been an, an amazing uh, journey over these last seven years. It's almost, can you believe, a decade nearly that we've been doing this. And 
you know, look where we've got, guys. We've got an open source, crowdfunded, um, you know, observatory, which is feeding all the information back to the general public. And that is unique in itself because all these bigger organisations collect the data, they use taxpayers' money, but they give nothing back in return. It's completely the opposite on Pulse Shift News on our website and what we cover on this channel here. You know, it's all for the public. And, um, you know, it's been just a small amount of people uh, that have actually contributed. I know some of you guys do uh, a lot of work for me sharing the videos on other websites. So, you know, absolutely, we understand uh, your efforts as well, guys. And, um, you know, now we have some great people that has decided, you know, that they want to um, come on board and take these magnetometers into their own homes and, you know, collect the data and send it back here to the UK so it can be processed and then in turn put on our website so that people can see, you know, a bit closer now what is taking place uh, in those regions where the magnetic poles are breaking apart and migrating on this planet. To get to where we are today, guys, has required a massive, massive effort, you know, by those people that have supported us. I mean, you know, you, as you can imagine, some people find it really difficult to even click uh, the thumbs up button on the videos. And, you know, they, they struggle sometimes to even outlast the whole video. So, you know, trying to get those people to, you know, support and appreciate what we've done uh, for themselves and a lot of others by, you know, trying to encourage them to get the credit card out and make a, a little donation is really difficult. But, you know, I've said it before, we, we don't just cover even the uh, magnetic anomalies that are taking place on this planet on the website, we cover a lot more. It covers pretty much every anomaly. If you're into the uh, human frequency and resonance, we have a dedicated page on this website for that. We cover solar activity, uh, sea ice extent, we've got live satellite uh, weather maps, uh, sea surface temperature, there's just tons of information and like I said it's required a massive effort and a lot of time has gone into this remember it took nearly a year to program the TriMag originally so guys yeah, you know I know it's frustrating you say every time in a video you know you get to a point and you ask for funding well it's a crowdfunded website and I know that if I don't mention it we don't get no funding for it it's as simple as that and I want to continue you know supplying you guys out there and others with information not just on the pole shift but actually showing you the data that we've collected from our own equipment from the observatory here in the UK so guys there's a link down there uh, if you want to help support it uh, you know there's a link for the patron and the PayPal and uh, you know I'll continue uh, giving you an update on the uh, progression of getting these magnetometers out and it's only going to be a matter of a couple of weeks now before we start getting data in so there's going to be another page built dedicated for the global magnetometers that we've got going out so i'll say what i usually do guys links are down there and as always you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll say what i usually do bye for now